In the past, they burned us because they thought that we were witches. Because we knew what to do with herbs outside of the kitchen because we knew how to dance, how to seduce, how to pray. Because we moved with the cycles of the moon. In the past, they burned us alive because they knew that we are witches. So now we cast spells with our mouths, pieces of our hearts spill out, it is incredible. Power of a woman who is not afraid to say no. No, we won't sit any longer while you ponder on our rights and our rights to give or not give life and our rights to make another woman our wife and our rights to get paid an equal wage, to be safe, to have a voice in places where we might actually make a change. It is incredible the amount of ways that they have slayed just to keep us small. If they could have, they probably would have burned us all, but they couldn't with fire, so they did it with words. Laid down laws to determine the amount of our worth. They kept us in contracts and separated our circles, erased us from pages and made labour-saving devices our saviours. It is incredible how quickly knowledge can fade, how much effort that they have invested just to lead us astray, but we will not come quietly. That's another thing they've tried to take away. Our rights to exclaim our orgasms ecstatically. No, we will not come quietly. We will open our mouths, let our spells spill out and cast poetic prayers into the night so that every woman can hear the howl of her sister's delight reminding her that her voice deserves to be heard. Let her jewel drop, let her shame stop. Let her body scream under the self-pleasure of what it means to be a woman who can speak freely. You see, words carry meaning. And they have fooled us for so long into believing that no means yes. So much so that I'm almost impressed, except, well, I finally discovered that they were right. So I've claimed back that no as mine, because every no I throw against their forces is another yes I retain for my own self-worth. It's a spell I cast for my own protection. It is incredible. The power of a woman who is not afraid to say no. Because this old witch undone with broomsticks and know your place. This witch knows that some knowledge just won't fade, that every woman is my sister. And through the hubble and the bubble and the toil and the trouble, we grow stronger when we cast our spells together. That we entered the fire, and now we rise from the ashes, and we are holding our candles and lighting our matches so that the night becomes lighter and our voices can grow because we have remembered that we are witches. We have learned to say no.